Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 22 here on the Western Wilds 22. Your host with not the most, Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller. Folks, how are y'all doing today? Oh, I'm doing just peachy, lemon squeezy. Man, look how different it looks with all the trees gone. Uh, this area here, we, we're going to do something with it. going to make it usable if we have to plant some trees back. Now, I done bought one thing and lease the other you tell me which one I did yeah I bought the weight and I leased the bell picker upper I'm gonna throw those in right here yeah what do you think about that now, those are prices of it and stuff and yeah we're fixing to uh, I need to slow time down I just thought about that I was wondering why it's getting dark on we're gonna slow one time down it's 2 16 in the evening All right, this thing's supposed to hold five bales. So, I know you want to see the cotton picker first, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the combine going. I'll see all that friggin' and stuff. I don't know if it's showing up in game or not, but it seems like it just does it with the uh, autumn trees there. As you can see, our truck there's got some logs on it. I brought some, uh, Baby trees up here and putting that. Ooh, we got a pallet on the ground. That is good. Uh, today, folks, uh, we will be harvesting soybeans over there and then picking some cotton over here. We'll probably start on this field over here and go that way and see how much we get. So I'm going to go to the shop park this and uh, get on the combine. All right, we're fixing to start it up. As you can see, we don't have no. Uh, very much diesel and death in here so that's why I want to hurry up and make sure we get this going I don't see nothing wrong with the gauges and stuff so we gonna get Dan from 3D Outdoors we're gonna get him what do you mean I don't have access yes I do I do now I did just install the update and they say the best thing you can do with the update is just circle around like this right here a couple times. About three or four times. And it will let everything render in. I think I don't know if you gotta do it fast, slow or what, but Yeah, alright, we're putting out straw there. Let's go down here and make sure this guy Oh yeah, he's back for enough. Uh, check out our meals here. We do. Oh, we got two pallets here. Uh, super strength is on. Um, yeah, I think I can carry them from here to there. I wonder if I can slide them around here. Oh, He Man power, folks. He Man power. Oh, that still got some. Oh, I forgot. This is the slower one. Alright, we ain't going to put this in here. We're going to run this and over to this side. Yep, to right here. That's taking it. And it's got a pallet of furniture too, folks. Look at here. We got, what, three? Oh, no, we got four or five already. Two, four, five. Good deal. Um, This one over here. I hope I ain't making nobody drunk with all my running around I'm doing. I know it's unrealistic. Yep, yep. And this in here is 5,000 liters. And yeah, looks like 5,000. Let's run this guy over to here. We're just going to make sure they're spitting out the same pallets. They look like they're the same. Yeah, well. They are not spitting out the same pallets. Uh, furniture, 5,000 liters, 5.1. Same amount. I'm going to set this in here. You can see this in here has got a, a PR9. Maybe the one's making tables, the other's making chairs. I have no idea. Uh, does that kind of turn around? Oh, yeah, you turn around good. 
All right. Um, got the truck here. Oh yeah, Mr. Yankee got the cotton picker started up and warming up for us. Okay. All right, we're gonna go ahead and unfold this thing. Yeah, I kind of shut up there. I didn't know I was going to fast forward that night, but I think I'm just going to leave it in because it's done pretty good. Now, the only thing about this thing I, I've heard, you know, just like some balers, round balers. Oh, I don't like that. We start it up and it automatically lowers its head. Okay, I'm doing that. So. Let me go down through here first. Let's, let's pick a row here. Alright, it looks like, um, let's see here. John Deere thing is right in the center right there, so it's, okay, we got a row on each side of that. So, I need to get right here. Let's see how detailed lined up this thing is. Now we got cotton going in, so that's good. Let's hop out real quick. Oh man, look at that, it's picking it good. You don't never want to leave the header running, folks, while you're outside playing around with this thing. Look at I like that. Each row is matched up to the header. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, let's get back in this thing. Did I get, uh, uh, yes I did, I did get, uh, course play, uh, not course play, but, uh, got it, steering. Alright, I'm gonna set my line right there, and we're just gonna, ooh, nine mile an hour picking. It's kind of fast, I think, I'm not for sure, though. Y'all let me know if y'all ever done any. Is it all head adjust, X to lock on. Are we got any cotton picker drivers out there? I know I used to drive a cotton picker, but not the newer types. You see, that's on, that's right there, right on the money almost. Getting a little bit off, but it's kind of expected with farm sim. You know, it's not 100% legit, so. And we're, we're picking cotton, folks. Y'all thought I was going to do that last, didn't you? All right, um, raise our header up. I know I don't have access to this land. Um, I'm just going to drive down this end. Go ahead and disengage the unit right now. I want to start picking on this far side over here. Uh, the, why? I have no idea. Um, I do know if we make good on the fabric and the, and the clothes uh, come next year. Well, actually, we do own this thing. I forgot we bought this uh, straight out. That's part of the, what was the five million dollar loan we did? Well, we're starting it back up, and all right, I'm gonna all and. It's page up. Probably need to go in the cab and do this so it'll be right on the money right there. Alright. Lock it. And here we go. Oh yeah, we're getting a good clean sample. Look at that right there. Oh man. You know what I got to do. I can't mess up this time. Windows and print screen. Windows and print screen. All right, I'm gonna see what a hired worker's gonna do down here on this end. So, GPS off, and we just hired uh, Mr. Yankee from Yankee's uh, Outdoor Adventures. And I also want to uh, arcade talk and Star Wars reviews. Um, he put 
that new house looks awesome. I think you need to move into it. And he's talking about that house right on the other side of the shop there. Yeah, I think I will. I think, sir, brother, I think I will move into it. That way I'm right there at the farm. Anything comes up, you know. And plus when we get the grain bins up, I'll be like the memorial farmer. Um, you know, I can go out there and check the dryers and stuff. All right, now I'm gonna hop out. I should be in fly mode, let's see. All right. pH value is just a little bit down, and actually about perfect. Okay, you see, did he back up? No, he didn't get back up, did he leave any? Okay, he didn't leave a good deal. Uh, who was that, Dan? Okay. And I'm going to let you get to that, and we're going to go check the, uh, I guess I need this right here. That combine should be full by now. I don't, oh, it looks like he's got his auger out down there. Oh, my. Yeah, as soon as I cut out with the pause button on recording and others, I'm glad we did come down here. He probably would push that, uh, thing down there out of the way. Actually, you know what? I think I want to go move this thing. Start it up. Can we move it? Oh, yeah. Well, kind of. That sure don't want to turn over. Okay, that's, well, not turn over as in turn over, but... I want to park it on the asphalt, concrete, look like asphalt. There we go. Um, probably about right. Can we get through there right there? Let's push. Let's do it about right here. Okay, that should work. Alright. See how full this guy is. Oh, he's almost full. Let's go ahead and dump, because he's got quite a bit. The cotton picker... Oh, I should get off. The cotton picker should keep on going. Now, one thing I would like to do is jump all the... the bales on the end. Is he going to have enough room to turn around? That's what I'm afraid of. Probably didn't get the ends done quite right. Oh... It just started dumping in the bag. Y'all see that? I don't see the bag going, so. Start the motor. Uh, pipe out. Switch to the back. Actually, that should be piped out. Um, detach and reattach. Oh! Oh, it's filling up now. I don't even have it attached. Okay, we got 14,634 liters in there, folks. We're going to leave this bad boy going. We're going to pull them up. And probably wait about right here. And that should give us time to swap over. Yes, y'all see something over there. Oh, yeah, he's got time to come around. All right, and we about to wait for the front of this. We... We're not going to have this type of trailer uh, all the time. We're just leasing it for now. Um, next year we'll probably have a module truck. And then we'll have the tractor that just moves them to the end. And, oh, yep, I see a bale down here. Good. That's, that's what I wanted, kind of, sort of. 
the bail should be dropped on the end. You know, if the cotton picker can make it that far, they can carry that bail to the to the end, drop it off right on the end of the rows here. This is perfect, see here. Now what I do want to do, I want to test something real quick. I'm gonna pull in like this. Crop destruction is supposed to be on. I don't see no destruction. Does that mean I don't have one? Are these tires just small enough? Uh, let's see. Operating position. Man, it's not, we won't get this cotton done today, way it looks. That big old header. Should have planted more. Uh, somebody did say something about corn. Oh, oh, is this going to turn it right way? Please turn it right way. Oh, yep, there it goes. It's just like this thing, this arm that's moving. There's a thing that just goes behind the tractor that does that. It don't move or nothing. It just, you back up to the bell and you, it picks it up like that and carry it to the end. Uh, transport position. I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. Okay, I'm going to sit here and watch a cotton picker. See how he's got it on the end? Or, I mean, on the back behind him? Let me go in flight mode. Um, let me do this real... Oh, I did the wrong thing. Did the wrong thing. Function 12. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. Um, head visibility, flight mode, that. Oh, he, he, oh. I wanted to see. But I like that. The worker is actually dropping them on the end like he's supposed to. And we got two bales out of that. See if I can get in that tractor. Yep. Um, of course, I turn. Is that alt? Or is it one? Alt one? There we go. Um, yeah, I don't tell how much it is. It says one 20%. Let's walk down here and see if. Uh, 10,000 liters. So that's 20,000 liters so far. When we get this. Uh, um, drop. There we go. Uh, enter. R. E. I can't get in. Say J and then E. <gasps> okay, I gotta go turn this off. I wanted. Do it this way. Maybe I can do it this way. Oh, he's not gonna make it all the way. 97. 98. 99 and he is come on come on whoa Dan I had to fire you for a second that'd be all right I'll hire you just right back I had to move the um the uh, thing over oh they let me get in this one. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and fold this auger in Set fold auger in. Um, pipe in. There we go. There we go. Alright. Didn't get too much off of this course. Just one from hiring a worker. He's got a bail. I guess what it is. I'm going to go ahead and fire him. No. Oh. I didn't want it automatically dropped. Alright. Be legit. We're supposed to actually back up and get on the rows. But we'll, oh, 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 oh. Got wire. Whoops. I should have let Dan do it. Wait. Who's driving the combine? I can't remember. Now we got scoot over. 
Yeah, this is unreal here. You don't switch rows like this. You stay on this. Let me see if I can do it like this. You stay on this row. You come up like that. If you can't get close enough, you know, you just, you, you'll pick up, back up, get over, get on the right rows you need to be, let it down, then go forward. And then you pick up. A lot of people just keep on going and leave those two rows, but if you can, they'll do it like this here. Oh, <laughs> not hang the god wire. They might have to. That you usually see some miss like that right there. Well, I can get back on. There we go. See how that one stalk there got missed? They might miss two or three of it. This the they won't take that time. That was the planner operator messed up. He planted too close to this power line, wasting seeds. Oh, oh, uh, I don't know. I'm hooked on the guy part again. Maybe I should have let Dan drive us. He probably would have done a, a lot better job than I have done. Alright, um. Something about backing up when your header's in the ground. Or, not in the ground, but on the ground. Uh, it rips the cotton out of the ground. You got the cotton stalks stuck in the header. And that is really, really bad on it. Uh, the old ones, anyway. I don't think any header that is out there that you can back up when it's down. Because combines, they got plates on the bottom stuff that goes in one direction. I'm pretty sure the newer cotton pickers are like that, too. They got grease alamites and stuff like that that's hid behind shields. And if you back up, you're filling those shields full of uh, mud and stuff. But we're doing pretty good. We know next time put a little bit more grass around it. And we'll, whoever who's planting the cotton will know not to plant that close to these poles. No, I love cotton pickers and stuff. Around here, see this is a cotton stripper. It cleans the cotton just a little bit better than a cotton picker. Now, I don't know what's the difference in them, but yeah, it does some things. But anyway, um, we're gonna go down through here and get this end knocked off, and we're gonna, I guess, start doing the rows this way. Well, crap! I went through the middle of the field. <sighs> I shouldn't have done that. Now he won't be able to go up and down this way because he'll be turning around. And right here by the shop, I'm going to have to widen that out quite a bit. Uh, I'm pretty sure our combine is full. I guess I'm going to go ahead and... You better strip all the way out to the end. There you go. I love how sharp these things turn. They turn like that in real life, too. You can whip them around on a, on a dime, almost. Well, maybe maybe a quarter, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, back up, back up, back up. This thing's destroying the cotton. Look at there. Oh, man. Now, the reason why I'm worried about destroying the cotton because we're going to have to get... we got to get a mower. All right. Now we're going to hire a worker. And here's this guy, but we're, that's uh, three bales right there. Hey, that's what we need. Now I'm going to pick these three bales up and I'll probably fast forward this a little bit. See how it does? You just back up to them and it'll pick it up. And, but it won't turn with that other thing. Let's see if I can show you real quick. 
Um, yeah, here, cotton technology. It's this thing right here. It's just a three-point hitch to the back of the tractor, and you just back up, grab it, and go. But it's a single bale at a time. Where this thing here can haul... I think it said five. That's three already. We need two more. I don't know what I was thinking. Did he drop one yet? He has not dropped one yet. Okay. We're gonna run over here. Or fly over here. Yeah, he likes it a little bit. We'll see what he does. We, we gotta get to, uh... Oh my god. You gonna shut the motor off. Y'all see what I did, right? I forgot about the combine. It could have been almost full by now. Alright. No. Shut these lights off. There we go. Not hit the tractor. Okay. Get back on track. And get back over here and get this guy turned around he can haul another load and just turn them like this shut them off for now we might have enough fuel we might have put a little fuel and death in this guy mm, yeah we need to get the baler going too i wonder if we can uh i don't think we can hire a worker yet there we go oh man he dropped a bell oh there and a the cotton at, at that Alright, while he's doing that, we're going to go over here and pick up the other bell. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and take that bell. Because we got three. This be one would be missing. I want y'all to, and it's already like 30 minutes in, probably 25 if I can cut it down enough. I want y'all to see the uh, spinnery. And I hope it goes well. Transport position, come on. There we go, transport position. Now, meet y'all at Sprintery. All right, I was checking out the lights on the back of this trailer. We got a beacon light on the uh, front of this thing too, along with our hazards. And uh, we got strobes, but they're little. I know they can be little, but they should be brighter. I should be paying attention to the road. Oops. Mr. Brood on it again, folks. Anyway, I was just saying, you know, at least our hazards are pretty bright. Now, which one's which? I can't remember. Oh, that's the spinnery. Unload the bales like this, I think. Um, unload the bales. It's doing that. Nope, there it goes. Zoom in back here. Whoa. I wish it wouldn't give us. Oh, okay, it's taking it. One more left. That not in the trigger. Oh, I gotta get out of fly mode. Hang on here. Uh, function F12. One. Turn that on and that off and that off. Oh. Uh, alt. There we go. Um, I don't have my hand. Okay, there it was. It wasn't in the trigger. There it goes. 40,210 liters. This thing can hold 225? Ooh, let's go in here and see what we got. Open the production menu. Of course, it has to save. You know, it's just got to save. 
All right, we can do wool. I did put a little bit of wool in there. That's probably why it's like 210 over. But that should have showed here. Oh. But anyway, uh, we are storing the fabric. Um, let's go ahead and activate. This and materials. Wait, what? Oh, wool, I guess. Please tell me I don't need wool also to run. Wait, what? Oh, cotton. Uh, activate. We're going to turn wool off. Deactivate. Okay. But cotton here, 60 cotton to 36 fabrics. Not too bad. I just, I don't know. I see 240 cycles per month. We're on two days. Uh, cost a month, $600. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, we got one liter of fabric. Cool. Okay. Um, let me get this all shut off and take back to the or take it back to the cotton field and uh, let's see lower and up. Nope, we want a uh, transport position. Oh, combine's got 80 percent. Okay. Yeah, let me get back to the combine real quick. And I didn't quite make it, and I gotta watch myself. My pause button is sticking. I almost started recording without recording. All right, I'm gonna let him jump. I'm gonna go over here and get this tractor here going a little bit. Um, I wish this one had a three-point hitch on it, but this one's got the saddle tank, so I'll probably be doing our majority of our spraying till we get a big boy spur. Uh, let's see here. Um, 240, yes. Uh, oh, we went down. Okay. We should be good to go. If I can get it out. Oh, I missed some. I have to come back and get that. Now, hire a worker. Um, set destination. Um, oh, I didn't take it. I guess it's this one. Great job. And I don't want to follow me. There's some way you can do course plays. Course play and stuff. I just, I ain't got it figured out yet. But I will be getting the straw up off the ground. And I guess we'll stack it somewhere till next video. And I... I might just bring y'all back here in a minute. See how much I can get done. Because I got a little bit of time before. Uh, I, I, oh. Just brought that straw out to that end there. But it's fixing to say. I'm probably just going to pause it here. And bring y'all back. And show y'all what I was done. And y'all already seen. I had. Uh, what is it? Four bells instead of five put in there or something like that I can't remember but anyway um yeah I'll bring y'all back okay that way y'all get to see the totals and stuff and that bell would have to drop right there all right I'll bring y'all back here in a second well folks the combine is out of fuel as you can see that and probably out of depth too and he still got quite a bit so i'm gonna put a quarter tank in there quarter tank of death but um yeah this thing's out of fuel so i'm gonna get her primed up um we're gonna run this guy on down well now y'all see that in the next episode how much we got i'm gonna finish cutting this off screen put it in a bag and when we come back you'll see that uh make sure this is off yeah, this guy's off. And uh, you can see we got quite a bit of bales. I have them stacked up and counted for y'all before we do anything to them. Might be sa uh, saving them, not selling, saving our straw bales. Because um, if we do all right on cotton and soybean prices, folks, we are, oh, ow, that cut me. What hit me? Tell that? Let's be. The wheel I would probably went rolling. 
rolling, rolling, rolling. It's been, it's been just a few more minutes than this guy. As you can see, he's doing all right. He, we, I started him way over there on the edge. Uh, I did have to restart him. Well, not restart him. I, I fired down long enough to get him straight where the rows would equal to a full length. You know, his head was sticking out in the weed field there for a little bit till he got down here and then he's been going back and forth and doing good. I don't know how he's going to do right here, but I'm going to go ahead and take over. I want to take over a little bit. We want to get an extra through right here. See how bright our lights are. Oh, we got some bright lights. I see that would be kind of hard to keep. Um, I guess I need to keep right here. Is that right? That would be. It would be right, right there. Yeah, right there is what we need to. But yeah, uh, driving a cotton picker is kind of simple, folks. You just keep, you know, steering wheel in between those rows. You just count your rows there. Ever how many you need, and yeah, voila. Oh, I didn't want to shut it off. I just want to raise the header. Uh, yeah. See, I'm carrying this here. I guess since he's down here, I'm, I'm going to go on back this side here. Um, probably one more bale, maybe. I'm just going to go ahead and hire Dan back here. Whoa. How many rows do, how many rows is this thing? Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve rows at a time, folks. Wow. That's a lot of rows. Compared to four or six. All right, when, when you hire a worker, it just drops it, so be aware of that. Where's our tractor? But I did just drop uh, five of these at, at the uh, spinnery, so uh, remember that. I think it was what four and then five. Or was it three and five? I don't know. You have to watch the video when I do the editing and stuff. I'll let y'all know. Y'all probably know anyway already. Probably tell me, no, it was three. No, it was four. Well, it was something. All right, I'm gonna shut this guy off, save fuel. And uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna finish the cotton off screen. I'm gonna fill, finish the soybeans off screen. And um, I don't know if y'all seen this or not. This is from these fields down here by the cotton fields. This strip of fields here and what we got around town and stuff. And we're 10% compacted. I forgot how much is in here. But we're not done. Uh, you seen the mower and, and the loader wagon sitting over there. That's going to be in the next episode. We're going to try to finish filling this up. I got to get this compacted because it ain't been compacted yet. Oh, I guess we can see the level there. Um, let's see, one, two, three. And that's one million four hundred eighty-six thousand and fifteen liters, folks. Almost a million and a half. Oof. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm just cycling through right now. Like I said, I'm all get him filled up, finish this off screen. Uh, basically, I'm going to finish everything off screen and bring out the totals. Y'all will see the totals. And uh, we can park our cotton picker in here pretty soon. He's almost done. I was going to see if I had something close to... I see. Oh, oh that's live. Large scale supplier. These are the fruits of your, what? I didn't say that last word. Well, let's go in here. And let's go up to here. I'm going to turn the uh, grass on. We're going to go over here. You can see what we got left of the field six here. 
and it's saying her grass here is ready to cut again I'm like good lord uh, we do need to check on our chickens in the next episode but we got that much right there left um, probably the cotton stalks we're going to have to mow but when we get the, the straw bales off of field 6 we can go ahead and plow that and I don't know uh, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and get a uh, soil sample before I plow mow the stalks and get a soil sample off of these you got to do all these down here and I'm thinking about plowing all this here up across here or oh, to 29 anyway I might save all of this here and some of this probably 8, 9, 10 and 20 and part of 30 it's going to be grass and uh, maybe by then we can buy some more of these get our operation going pretty good well I thought he's going to be done but you ain't got no bell yet nope oh there's our rock picker we gotta get some rocks and stuff too and check on our gold too but anyway folks i'm uh wasting time now i'm just gonna uh i guess i'm gonna do uh like like y'all said uh i'm gonna move in here and somebody had a comment about this bicycle too riding it to work uh i think it was ice demon uh, i'll throw it in right here yeah, um, but yeah, we got to get us a, uh, what's it called? Grain silo system set up here next. And uh, at least we got our shop down. It's a pretty good size. I think the combine and cotton picker, I already got the cotton picker, cotton stripper. I think it'll fit in here real good. Uh, might get another one this size and put it over here somewhere. But we're going to have to have our silo up, and I'm going to turn around and open a gate up somewhere in here. I don't know exactly where. might take a couple links out here and a couple links over there and open this corner up. Uh, so our semis can come through. Might do the same on the other end. I don't know yet. I'm still trying to design it, folks. But I've done, talked enough, so... Uh, yeah, I got lots to do off screen, looks like. Yeah, I got this set up like this, so I know it's going to be, uh, loader wagon's going to be a little bit wider, but it'll be all right, it won't hurt nothing. And, uh, it'll be two, two birds with one stone, as they say. But yeah, that's going to be it, folks. Oh, 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 okay. Almost, almost. Let's see here what we got. See, we're going to have, there's no way of converting that cotton over. It should be a way you can, uh, see, unload finished bale here, it will just do the 8,154 liters instead of 1,549 liters. It should be a way where he, we can empty both pieces like finish making the bale and then unload the finished bale or a bale if it makes it yeah that's what it should be but anyway yes i am getting up here now it's 46 minutes in i'm gonna have trouble combining this down for a shorter video but oh it's rough here <laughs> slow it down a little bit but folks appreciate y'all watching i appreciate all the likes and make sure you hit the like button if you don't because some of my likes are low on a couple of videos um i know everybody forgets and i'm aware of that so i'm not holding against y'all and there's some of y'all that ain't subscribed yet so please hit the red button if you like my content and um yeah i'm trying to make construction sim videos too um, i still want to make a little short vlog maybe a 15 minute vlog or something of my life but yeah, I just, I just don't know, folks. We're we going to get something made. But anyway, y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.